So one of the things that's lovely about Dostoevsky is that he, you know, when sometimes when one person is arguing against another or when they're having an argument in their head, they make their opponent into a straw man, which is basically they take their opponent and caricature their perspective and try to make it as weak as possible and, and laugh about it and, and then they come up with their argument and destroy the straw man and feel that they've obtained victory, but it's a very pathetic way of thinking, it's not thinking at all. What thinking is, is when you adopt the opposite position from your suppositions and you make that argument as strong as you can possibly make it and then you pit your perspective against that that strong iron man, not the straw man and you argue it out, you battle it out and that's what Dostoevsky does in his novels I mean, he's the people who stand for the antithesis of what Dostoevsky actually believes are often the strongest, smartest, and sometimes most admirable people in the book. And so, he takes great moral courage to do that.